And at the end of that boot camp, uh, uh, Mystery pulls Neil Strauss aside and tells him, you're going to be a superstar. And the reason why he said that and why he told Style that was because Style always pushed past his comfort zone. Hey, what's up, guys? Dale Valor here from Modern Valor Dating. Today, we are starting a new video series that we're going to drop every Friday. We just wrapped up one on how to run a date correctly to get the results that you want. This is a new series that I'm going to be doing on all the people that I learned from when learning game and what I took away from their, uh, from their teaching. All right. So today we're going to be starting off with the guy that kind of opened this up uh, to the mainstream and just kind of made uh, a real industry out of uh, out of pickup and seduction. All right. And then of course, I'm talking about the guy that wrote the game, Neil Strauss, uh, a.k.a. Style. So I'm going to be talking about the six things that I took away from learning from Style and showing you how you can learn those things too. All right, we're gonna hop into the first one. Let's go. Number one, finding out about game. All right, here's the deal. Never knew it existed until I happened to stumble upon Neil Strauss, okay? So uh, this was probably a couple years after, uh, after maybe a year after the game came out. I happened to be listening to a radio uh, interview here in Detroit, a uh, talk show that I was listening to, and the concepts that were being talked about, and I'm not sure if this was Neil Strauss or if it was Mystery or, or who it was, all I remember is that they were talking about IOIs and NEGs and things like that. And the concepts just blew my mind. I'm like, I, these are all things that I never considered. But I could see how it would work. All right. I was really bad, you know, terrible with, with women for the most part. And it was something that I wanted to learn how to be better with. You know, and, and the thing is, I went home. I ended up Googling something to the effect of how to talk to women or how to flirt or, or something like that. And I just happened to stumble upon Neil Strauss style and ended up reading, uh, downloaded a PDF version of a book called The Rules of the Game. The game was a, uh, was a story. Rules of the Game is a tutorial. All right, I had a 30 day mission thing and it really resonated with me and I started going out there and doing the missions. From there, I wanted to learn everything that I could, everything that I could get my hands on. And that's exactly what I did. Hence this video series, because basically every month or so, I would learn as much as I could about a particular individual and go out there and, and do exactly their formula, their get down and to try to implement it as much as I could. And so, yeah, that's one of the things I took away from it was just being introduced to the game. If you've never read the book, The Game, I highly suggest that you do so. All right, there's a lot of things in there that you can take away from it, but more than anything else, it is, in my opinion, I think it's a, it's a great book. I, I really like the story involved there. And uh, I think it's put together super dope. So, all right, we're gonna get hop into tip number, well, I guess it's not a tip. We're gonna hop into number two, let's get it. Number two, all right, earlier we talked about uh, the game by Neil Strauss and reading that book. Uh, by doing that, it did a lot for me. Now here's the deal. This is the tip number two, if you wanna call it a tip. All right, I saw a lot of myself in his story in that book all right so as i'm reading it i could see a lot of the way that he thinks and his processes and all that i could see so much of that in myself that it resonated just it was crazy how much it resonated with me so by reading that i could see okay look it worked for him i like the process of learning that he uh uh, adapted and 
I could see how it would work for me. So it was great in that I could see somebody that it really worked for and they came out of it mastery level. And so I just wanted to, I just knew I could do that if he did it, right? So read it and see how much of your story connects with Neil Strauss in the game. All right, we're going to hop into number three. Let's go. Number three, this may be the most important thing that I took from Neil Strauss that I was able to uh, apply to my life, that enabling me to learn and grow and get better and better. And that thing is learn from multiple sources. All right, I see so many guys today in the community, guys that are trying to learn game, guys that are trying to learn pickup, that they learn from one person. They learn from one source. And I think that that really blinds them in other avenues and other other uh, perspectives that they can take away from. You know, that they can look at somebody else and say, okay, you know, I might not get down with everything that they say, but this, this here, this point here, this here, I like that. And I can see how that could potentially be life-changing. And listen, if you're somebody who strictly only listens to me, I would urge you, go out and find other people to learn from too. You know, there's going to be other perspectives that resonate with you as a person that could really sow into your life and really, you know, make you reap the benefits of their knowledge and experience. So, you know, don't just listen to me. But conversely, if you only listen to somebody else, don't just listen to them. You know, we're, we're not in this to, to have a cult. We're in this to share knowledge and perspective and experiences. And so what Neil Strauss did in the game is he learned from mystery. He learned from Ross Jeffries. He learned from David D'Angelo, Hypnotica, Steve P, David X. You know, all these guys, he took parts of their games, put it together for him, right? So I think that that's a really, really smart way of going about it. All right, we're going to hop into the next tip. Let's go. Number four, keeping what works for you. All right, so here's the deal. Uh, one of the main things that I took away from Neil Strauss was, you know, just keeping all those elements from working with other coaches and other gurus like we talked about in the last tip. You know, he worked with a grip of different people. And what he did was he kept what worked for him and his personality and then would discard the rest. Okay, so in other words, he's learning from mystery. He's learning mystery method, all right? Now, did he do mystery method 100% to the letter? No, he took the parts of mystery method that worked for him and his personality. He understood who he was, what worked for him, go out, field test it, see what works for him, what doesn't, keep what works, discard the rest. And so, you know, it's one thing learning from a multiple sources. It's another thing keeping what works for you. You have to understand your personality, who you are. Go out and field test it. You know, see what works. It just don't like, oh, this could work. Well, I don't think this would work. Go out there and try it. See what happens. You know, you might, hey, look, another thing is you may just develop something yourself that works for you and you alone, all right? Just by trying something and making, you know, it's not really landing, but then you make a, a small tweak and all of a sudden that works, all right? We're gonna hop into the next one, let's get it. Number five, realistic game, all right? And when I say realistic, what do I mean by that? What I mean is, you know, I always felt like by reading his story and then watching video and things like that, I always thought that he came across as authentic, that he came across as a real person, that it wasn't just like a bag of gimmicks. You know, did he use canned material? Yes, absolutely he did. But I think that he was always looking for getting, getting out of it realistic goals, realistic relationships, things like that. It wasn't a thing of just like lay count. You know what I mean? It was a thing of like really just wanting to uh, see who he aligned with, who would align with him. And 
you know, making it, making that work, you know, forming those alliances that were equally beneficial. I never got the impression that he was out to just, you know, mess up people's lives or just fuck around and just, you know, get, get for him and fuck everything else, you know? So I always got the impression he came across as pretty real to me, you know, maybe you get a different impression. I don't know, but that's what I took away from it. And that's the way that I always tried to structure my game as a real authentic person, not just a bag of tricks. You know what I mean? So, all right, we're gonna hop into the last one. Let's get it. Number six, pushing past your own personal limits, all right? In the book, there's a story about uh, him and Mystery going out. I think it was the first boot camp that Mystery had done uh, with Neil Strauss. And at the end of that boot camp, uh, uh, Mystery pulls Neil Strauss aside and tells him, you're going to be a superstar. And the reason why he said that and why he told Style that was because Style always pushed past his comfort zone. He always pushed past his limit. On the onset, all he knew was an opener, a few little, you know, routines, and then that was it. Instead of just being like, all right, I've exhausted my material, nice to meet you, I'm out, he would push past it. He would keep it going, trying to develop something, trying to see if there was a, a, a way that he could keep it working, keep it going without it just being routines. Maybe he stumbles upon his own routine, whatever, but... He kept it going. He pushed it past his own personal comfort zone and kept the interaction going as long as he could, right? So that was one of the major, major things that I took away from it, especially early on when I was using just a lot of routines and a lot of uh, canned material. When I would run out of stuff to say, I would try to keep it going. You know, that was one of the key, key things that I think really helped me get better was just keep going. Just keep the conversation moving until you can't anymore, right? So listen, guys, we're going to be doing a video series on this, dropping videos every Friday. This one was on Neil Strauss. The next one is going to be on Mystery Method. And so I'm going to be breaking down what I got out of Mystery Method that my game and helped me. So looking forward to the next one. If you got value out of this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the notification bell. And can't wait to see you next time. Dale Ballard, Modern Ballard Game. Salute.